Welcome back to The Letters. I'm your host, Jeff Grosso, and we're here in beautiful San Francisco, California with Alyssa Steamer. We're gonna talk about queer skateboarding. As a 51-year-old heterosexual male, I have found it so impossible impossibly hard to find love, keep love, have relationships. I like where this is going have already. Rela ha have relationships, nurture them, not lose them. Like it's, it's the hardest thing you do in life. And personally, I can't even fathom what people have to go through when they are coming from a different angle when they, you know, because there's so much hatred and stigma and bullshit put, you know, through religion and politics and just misunderstanding. Yeah. Um, first of all, it must have been tough coming up, coming up when you came up as a female and then, and then also being a gay female. Yeah. It must have really added a little uh, kink to the whole thing. I mean, I've been all sorts of things, you know what I mean? I haven't been only gay, I've been hetero, I've been this, that, and the other, yeah. you know what I mean? So like, I didn't really uh, experience um, loving women until later in my life because of fear, I think. Which now, like in 2019, it's kind of like a beautiful thing that, you know, in certain places and certain, you know, times that you can just like really not care what people think about you is a beautiful thing. I think especially when you're young or, you know, when we're all super young, you, you know, you, you try to like first make your parents happy and then you you know you kind of find your people your friends and you kind of live for them you yeah. know when you're really young and until you kind of come into your own and slowly become the person you're going to be and that's a very trying time uh, you absolutely know. and uh, as you're saying that i'm like thinking back of like you know i like i mean i kind of tried to please my parents but like my friends were everything you yeah. know what i mean once i found my like skate gang that was like everything to me and within that skate gang was a lot of verbiage that's like you know anti-homosexual and yeah anti-gay and anti-queer and anti-anything other than hetero bullshit. Yeah. you know what i mean yeah and so within that as your friends are doing that even though it's like mostly like um male homosexuality, you know, people hating on male homosexuality, you know, and sort of like, um, uh, sort of like praising like a feminine lesbian, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, and in that, uh, sort of, um, dynamic, even, even there you learn like, oh, to be different is wrong, yeah. you know, or to be different is bad. Or if I'm different openly, people are going to, hate me you know what I mean so I mean I definitely like learned that at an early age yeah you know which is strange because the, the whole premise of skateboarding is to like go out and just be yourself and you can be whoever you want to be and expression be, session you, yeah it's a, like that's what at its at its best that's what it's supposed to be how, how do you feel about you know where where skateboarders and skateboarding's at today with with accepting, um, you know, the, the, the gay skateboarders? Um, I think, I mean, I think we have a, like a long way to go, um, for, before skateboarding is truly inclusive. You know, I've always said like, um, skateboarding's inclusive to like all colors all you know races all all genders um you know handicap everything you know um but as i grow older and a little bit wiser yeah. i'm learning that that's not really true 
you know it seems inclusive out in the open but then behind the closed door it's not it's really not yeah you know what i mean skateboarding is very special it's like the best tool in the world i feel yeah me too. i think it's great you know um i think you learn everything i learned everything from it but i think to keep it special like that we're gonna have to like start standing up for one another and you know when you when you hear somebody talking shit about somebody behind their back or something instead of being like you know quiet or even joining in laughing or whatever you know it's time to say like hey that ain't cool man you don't know them you don't know where they came from you don't know what they struggle with yeah and why do you care anyways you're trying to boost your ego like what are you doing you yeah. know it's just a it's just another form of bullying yeah that, you know like to get whatever to get your friends to laugh to like it's fucking ridiculous um yeah, and it goes like a long way to, even to like be like, oh, you know, uh, whatever. I, I'm cool. I'm cool with homo homosexuality, but then be making jokes. You know what I mean? It all starts with that little joke. Yeah. All the time, I'm with people, and they're like, oh, that shit's gay, and I'm like, oh, by gay, do you mean epic and radical? You know, like, what are we talking about here? Oh yeah, I didn't mean it like that. It's like, well, we don't mean it like that, but no. we're saying it like that. You know. You get more beat up by words than you do by. But actually, somebody physically beating you oh, up. Oh, absolutely. That, you know, somebody can say two, three sentences to you, and you carry that shit for the rest of your life. Yeah, you know, I've been guilty of it. We, you know, I I grew up in a time where, you know, I mean, I don't know how many times, you know, don't be a pussy. Yeah. Don't be a pussy. Yeah, you know, and um, oh, you know, you're just being a fag. You're just being a fag because you didn't make it. Yeah. You know, you built that leaner again. Uh, you know, and uh, you know, I was I was taught that at, at you know at a very very young age, at, you know, and and I I spoke that way for years. Yeah. Uh, you, you know, it just it, and I can't even imagine what that must feel like to to somebody who you know who's overhearing. Yeah, Absolutely. You know, and like viewing from the sidelines, you know. But you can imagine it oh, well, if you it, let yourself. Well, yeah. You know, that's what we need to do is instead of saying, I can't imagine that, say like, oh, let let me take a minute to imagine yeah. that. Yeah. To well, imagine how that might feel. Yeah. Well, it wasn't until it, it wasn't until I got older and I sat down and started taking a look at at my own actions and and the stuff that, you know, just how I am, and that I started to realize like, oh, you're, fuck you're part of the fucking problem, you know? I've been beat up on and stuff for, for who I am and, and, and I didn't like it, right. you know? And the last thing I wanna do is beat up on somebody else and make them uncomfortable or make them not feel safe, especially when it comes to skateboarding. Yeah. Uh, you know, and... Um, and it sucks. It sucks to admit that. It sucks to admit that, like, you know, <laughs> yeah, I'm part of the fucking problem, uh, you know, but I'm trying. And like you said, skateboarding is, it's this wonderful tool that, yeah. that you know, we should be able to all, especially what, you know, how, how we, how we as a group came up and, and what we all went through you know, we should be bigger than and better than and 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 everybody should be able to participate and be stoked. It doesn't have anything to do with actually being gay or anything, but like there was a time like and I'm sure you had a, like my parents were like, you have to quit what you're doing. Yeah. It's bad for you. Absolutely. This isn't the direction we want you to go in. Yeah, absolutely. And it's like, yeah, but this is my bliss. This is this is the thing I love. I was like, well, if that's if you're gonna tell me that I can't do what I want to do and follow and follow my bliss, then I'm out of here. See you later. Yeah. And that you know that drove a a wedge in my relationship with my parents for many many years, and it was a bitch to get over too. But and that wasn't even about something as heavy as, as, as being gay and having my parents not understand it. There's a whole range no. of people who are, you know, feel outside of the norm. You know what yeah. I mean? 
as like a cis, I think, I they think feel, more people feel outside of the norm than people feel nor you know, this, yeah, this right. concept of fucking normal <laughs> doesn't exist. Yet you know, it just doesn't. And and yet we're all trying so desperately to be to present these versions of ourselves that look I'm normal as if normal's cool or good or something. But when has normal ever been cool or good? And who really wants to be it? Yeah, not I, me. Me neither. <laughs> uh, you know, I like being a fucking freak. You, you know, it's I, like, you wear it as a fucking badge of honor on your sleeve, you know? So it's upsetting to me to know that like, from the outside looking in like, Oh, everything's cool. You know, we're all so inclusive. And but then when you're zipping around the local skateboard park at fucking 7 p.m. on a fucking Tuesday night, you know, and you're really looking at people, you can see, you know, the girls off in the corner, four or five deep, and you know, and they're looking around and tripping out and stuff. And you know, and like it just shouldn't be that way. Yeah, you know, the one place it shouldn't be that way is when you're, for sure, is when you're skating. For younger people that might be watching this or whatever, that, that are, you know, maybe struggling to come out or understand their feelings or, uh, you know, or along those lines, like, yeah, you, you know, um, what is it like you'd, you'd like to, fuck, to say to them? Oh, man. Um, well, you know, you can't, I would like to tell people, I would like people to know that there's really nothing to fear but fear itself. But in that, like, a lot of people are unsafe in places they live. And they're yeah. unsafe in their family, their surroundings, their school, their skate group, or whatever. You know, if they were to, like, be out about who they really felt they were. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't, I don't believe that it's, like, my... It's not my, I don't have the right to tell somebody when they should tell their story or how they should totally. tell their story. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I think that um, finding, finding a like-minded person or an understanding person, one person to start with, yeah. could be like the stepping stones to actually like freedom. If you're oppressed, you're not free. You know what I mean? If no. Somebody's oppressing you, you're oppressing yourself, you're self-hating, you know, all, all these different things or society teaches you, you're not right, blah, 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 people, whoever, doctors, whatever, tell you like, oh, you're not right, you know, um, to actually be like, you know what, this is who I am, is like the ultimate freedom to like not have to, you know, live in secrecy or you know um or shame shame is yeah. huge you know what i mean i learned a thing one time that um guilt is your own and shame is other people's you know what i mean if we were all just born and allowed to live without other people's fucking bullshit upon us then we would never know the better and everybody would be themselves and everybody would be free and nobody yeah. would have shame yeah. you know what i mean for how long we've been around as a species, I, like this, this has been going on since day one. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you, you know, like, and and you would think that you know we we would have grown to a point of acceptance of how we are as as a species, and yet we rail against that in all kinds of forms. That you know. Everyone's, con you know, like the proverbial they are constantly trying to put you in a box. Yeah, and yeah. for what? Yeah. Well, what do they gain from it? I don't know, control maybe? I don't, you know, I don't know. I, they, get, they get to quell their own fear. Yeah, their, their, yeah. Their own misunderstanding or, or you know, and it's, yeah. like, it's like, that's a shitty place to be you know a shitty way to be categorized or or you know box to be stuffed in like oh i'm glad you feel good about yourself yeah. I, but i feel shitty right you know i was actually yeah. thinking about that the other day like sort of i don't know like families kind of like taking a certain stance on their children being gay and like choosing something other than their children to support yeah through that time and how tweaked that must you know how tweaked that is yeah 
it's a testament to how gnarly learned behavior is. And like you said, like if you could find one person, one like-minded person. So it would be great if, if skateboarding and skateboarders were those people that you, that you could go that you could go find and uh, you know just like punk rock you know punk rock was that way to a certain extent before it got washed out and all fucked up uh, you know it was like oh here's a safe space to to let my fucking freak flag fly <laughs> uh, you know and uh, you know and i found my people yeah. and and how fucking glorious of a feeling that is and um, and I like you think that we have a long way to go. Uh, you know, I, I just never was, you know, in my white male privilege, <laughs> never even considered it, uh, you know, until yeah. um, I was forced to look in the mirror. Thanks for sitting down with us. I really oh, appreciate it. It was a pleasure. And um, I don't know. Yeah. Am I supposed to do a sign out? Yeah, and why not? It's always good to have a choice when you're in the edit room of, you know, three or... Four, four or five. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> thank <laughs> Okay, so yeah, thanks for sitting down with us and, yeah. and talking. Uh, um, it's, a, it's a trip, yeah, you know. And uh, I would just say, fuck man, hold on, you're gonna be all right. Turn this shit off, go skate. Thanks for watching.